Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. If you are excited about the new Windows 11 24H2 update but have not received it yet, don't worry. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through three reliable methods to manually upgrade using the ISO method. These are great if you are processed to get latest feature now and need to bypass some restrictions. So why go for a manual upgrade? Sometimes the Windows update might not offer you the latest 24H2 right away. This could be due to regional rollouts, hardware checks, and system configuration that are slowing it down. This manual method can allow you to get Windows 11 24H2 and its awesome new feature like enhanced AI tools, gaming optimizations, and security improvements. If you are running a compatible device and just want to upgrade to 24H2 quickly, then this method's for you. Don't worry, you won't lose any personal files and applications. It's like a regular updates. So let's see how it can be done. So let's get started. First, go to official Microsoft website. Scroll down until you see Windows Installation Assistant and click Download Now. Once downloaded, open the tool. The Installation Assistant will automatically check if your PC is compatible with Windows 11 24H2. It will also confirm whether you have enough space or other system requirements. If your PC passes the checks, it will prompt you to continue. If it does not pass, then don't worry, you can use the ISO installation method. The installation assistant will start downloading the updates depending on your internet speed. This could take a while. Once the download is complete, it will ask you to restart your PC to start the installation. The assistant will continue installing the updates in the background. Don't worry, your files and apps will stay in place. And after a few minutes, it will be set on Windows 11 24H2. That's how simple it is with installation assistant. But if your hardware is unsupported or you want to do a clean install for a fresh start, then let's go into the ISO method. The ISO method is a bit more hands-on and it gives you more control over the installation. So let's see how to do it. Go back to the Microsoft Windows 11 download page. Scroll down to the section that says download Windows 11 disk image file. Choose Windows 11 24H2. Select your language and download the ISO file. Once the ISO is downloaded, you don't need third-party software to create a bootable USB. Windows has a built-in ability to mount ISO file directly. Right-click the downloaded ISO file and select Mount from the drop-down menu. This action will create a virtual drive on your PC, allowing you to access the contents as it if it were a DVD. Open the file explorer and you will see the mounted drive listed under this PC. Just open it. Inside the mounted ISO, find the setup.exe file and double click it to start the installation process. Keep patience, you will be greeted with the Windows 11 setup screen, which will prompt you to choose between upgrading your existing Windows installation or doing a clean installation. Accept the license terms and complete the installation. For upgrade, if you are doing an in-place upgrade, select option that says upgrade this PC now. This will install Windows 11 24H2 while keeping your existing files and application intact. For clean install. If you prefer a clean install, you will need to choose custom install windows only during startup. This will allow you to format your system drive and perform a fresh install. The installer will now check for updates and ensure your PC is ready for installation. 
follow the on-screen instructions to continue. Once everything is ready, the installation process will begin. This may take some time. Your PC will reboot several times during this process. After the installation, Windows will walk you through the final setup steps. Once complete, we will have successfully upgraded to Windows 11 2482. This method gives you more control over the installation. It's perfect if you are running a unsupported hardware or want a complete clean install. So let's check how to do it. In that case, you will need a bootable USB drive. I recommend using Rufus, a free tool that makes it easy. Now download Rufus from their official website. Now plug in an empty USB flash drive. The USB drive capacity should be at least 8 GB. Now select the ISO file. Now select partition scheme, GPT or MBR. If you want to make this bootable USB drive for dual BIOS mode, then press ALT plus E key combination to select BIOS or UEFI port. Now here, you don't need to change anything, just click on start. If you are upgrading unsupported hardware, Rufus also let you to tweak settings to bypass system requirements like TPM 2.0 checks, secure boot and online Microsoft account. This is a great option if Microsoft says your hardware is not officially supported but it still meets basic performance standards. Now open the bootable USB drive from the file explorer and just follow the method 2 to keep your personal files if you are just upgrading or restart your PC and boot from the USB drive if you want a clean and fresh installation. Now you will see the windows setup screen. Choose the clean installation option if you want to start fresh. Accept the license terms and complete the installation. It's a standard Windows setup but make sure you have backup your data if you choose clean install. Follow the on-screen instructions to select your hard drive. This method works even if your PC was blocked from getting the update automatically. And there you have it, 3 reliable ways to upgrade to Windows 11 24H2 whether you are doing a regular update through the installation as it stands or going for the more advanced ISO method. Both approaches will get you access to all cool new features Windows 11 24H2 has offers. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.